Welcome to another episode of the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and uh, before we even start off this episode I want to say a big shout out and a huge thank you to Humble George. I will link his channel in the description. He, de he deserves many many more views. He makes awesome videos and uh, he gifted a car to me which I'm sitting in right now and if you don't know about Humble George well let me tell you the cars that he builds are not only beautiful as you will see but they are very, 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 very fast. Much, much faster than a car should be. So today I will try to do the impossible, which is to take one of his creations out on the north life and set a hot lap. Not a crazy one, wow, we are flying all over the place lap, but a true hot lap. And I don't even know if that's possible to be honest. I've done some test driving here and there on Highlands Long. Uh, just a few minutes ago to see how much turbo pressure I can take in this one and uh, it's fast guys it's it's very fast so what we will do is we will use uh, these settings here traction control off because you know uh, and we will use 50% turbo pressure the rest will remain as it is in the setup okay <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this should be interesting. So, um, I will have to use the manual shifter because my left shift pedal doesn't work at the moment. Well, guys, um, as you can see, I was really going back to uh, Alex's channel to check out the new uh, Hoonicorn because I want to build him one. And I'm going to do it too now, especially. And I, you know, I've been at a slump for a set of Corsa for a little while. I just have not really. Uh, I had the fucking gumption and all that to get back into it. Oh, I'm fucking lit up tonight, though. I'm going to link this video to the one that I'm going to make tonight. Because I am gonna. I just got... And he left the car on there, too, guys. The, the link is still good. I just snagged it. So, God bless you, Beto, for not going ape shit. We love you, brother. Nobody builds cars like you do. Well, well, I'll leave it at that. Guys, guys. Get the fucking car. Take your time to learn how to drive it. The thing will whoop your fucking ass for a while, but there'll come a day or an hour when you will have control of this and you will be, you got to race it against other cars. It's a fucking ludicrous riot. But I've never seen anybody do a better job of driving one of my cars, the remods, than Alex right here. He shows you exactly how difficult it is. And that's why a lot of people don't do it, because it's difficult. It wears you out. It's physically demanding. It kicks your ass. And you are always, your mind tells you, oh my God, I'm only hundreds of a second from fucking this up and, and blowing the whole lap or losing the race. But the car is so phenomenally strong, and they grip the best they can, but it's four to six, eight hundred, a thousand miles an hour, you know, they can only grip so well before it's not even a, a, a simulator anymore. But a subtle course is a simulator and it's fucking brilliant. Anyway, come on, let's go down and uh, see what we can do tonight. And then I'm going to get working on uh, Alex's new car. I hope you're going to like this one, Alex. I keep looking down because I'm looking at Alex's face on, the, on the, the screen here. Look at this guy. Now, he's a professional uh, sim driver with professional gear, and he's having the time of his life. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, here we go, guys. This should be interesting. So the plan is to do a smooth introduction lap that is not too fast. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get a feel for this piece. Cut that off for the time being. And let's see what lights up and what... I wonder why Humble George doesn't light up. But we're not going to worry about that now. But look at the stuff that does. Little edges of the lights and uh, we got the flames still flaming. Uh, what a serious car. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now, if there was a special skin just for Alex. I think... This might have been the skin he used in his video. Uh, he was going so damn fast. I don't know what the hell skin it was now, to be honest with you. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got. 
There's the black semi-gloss. Uh, just Beto does. It, it, I don't think there's anybody that can even come close. But quite frankly, the Beto Fernandez. He's just absolutely amazing. Now look at we did one. For, I did one for Michael too, but I don't think I ever sent it to him. I wanted to uh, to do something for him, but sometimes Michael doesn't appreciate that shit at all. He does. I mean, it's not that he doesn't appreciate. It, he doesn't want it. I mean, you're doing something for him that he just doesn't want, and you can't blame him for not wanting it. I mean, if he don't want it, he don't want it. But uh, nobody said I can't take his car out tonight, did they? Oh, oh no, they didn't. So that's what we're gonna do. And where are we going to go? Well, let's figure out how to get out of this screen. And that looks like that's what we want. The car's parents missing, but not for long. There we go. Now, here's what we got. 5,091 horsepower. Is that accurate or am I bullshitting you? Calculate here. And what do we got? Boom. We've got 5,091 horsepower. Okay, same with the Newton meters and the whole deal. And what do we got down here? Recalculate perfectly. This is exactly off off um, Alex's channel. I just got the down. It's exactly the same. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, um, I haven't driven this car in at least a year. So what do we do? how do we begin, Humble? How do we begin? Well, oh, no. Fuck that. This is where we're going right here. Extra mile. Ho, ho. We're doing the extra mile with the extra mile. Let's light this puppy up and see what we got here. Wait a minute. Our license plates aren't lighting up. Yes, they are. Notice the Acropovic. Check that shit out. In two colors, too. Isn't that ass kicking? Look at that. It, what a fucking car. All right, let's see what we can do. Stop, John. What's the driver look like in this thing? It's Alex. It is, from the extra mile. All right, Alex. We're going to do our best with you, buddy. We're going to do our best with you right there. Is that the black one? No, this one is. Whoo, boy, is it ever. All right, let's try this puppy. Now, Nordisch Kleifa, tourist, default, the whole deal. Happy, from the pits. Uh, everybody's good to go. Let's hit it. Now, I'm not telling you... I could even come close to Alex's time because Alex is a professional driver with professional tools. And he's fucking good at it on top of all the other stuff. But, Alex, I can't thank you enough for doing that video uh, with the car. You captured exactly what it's like to drive this Rusty's not fun, guys, because it causes nothing but troubles. Then we get wind, air after the next. Oh, my God. Don't worry about the computer. Oh, it's running good. It's just uh, fucking didn't set up the shadow play properly, the NVIDIA, whatever the fuck. Anyway, it worked in, her, in your favor because it gave me time to finish this car because it wasn't ready yet. And it still could do a little bit more than what it's got. But take a look at this. Remember Ken Black? Sure you do. One of the best drivers in America for damn sure. And this is his newest addition to his, uh, uh, not saddle, but his fucking barn. So check it out, guys, right here and right now with his glockaroni. Welcome, everybody, to another Humble George production. This time, we got something special. Take a look at this thing. It is called the Huna Pegasus. A new Ken Block car. Ready for Pike's Peak and featured on Alex's channel, where fat fucks don't belong. <laughs> Just kidding now. Uh, ready for this? Let's go have some fun with our new Funa Pegasus. Hope you like it, Alex. It's a tricky bugger to master. Trust me, this one is really hard to hard to drive. 
but it's rewarding. Let's get a little more volume. I hope you can hear me okay today. Last night I tried to do a video and they couldn't hear me at all. shot that by a little What do you think guys? It's cool, isn't it? The old squonky ain't lost it yet, has he? Squonk had to burn the midnight all to get this one for you. Not maybe the most elegant uh, retreat, but I got to give the washer something to do, right? What do you think guys? This thing's cool, ain't it? It's gonna be a few more nice skins too. I gotta work on those, but And that will do it for this moment, uh, unless you can think of something else you'd like to see. But isn't that something, though? That's a, uh, Let me show it to you in the, in the workroom at 313. I don't know if that's good or not, but it's what we did. Check this puppy out. This thing is really nice. All righty then. Let's get the lights on the pup. Uh, if you hear a funny noise, what that actually is, is my dehumidifier down here. Because this time of year, it can get just a tad on the moist. 
Take a look at this kid. What do you think, guys? Huni Pegasus is what it's called. From their own site when they uh, got it going. Now, I didn't have this, the right front uh, air dam, so I did the best I could. I snagged it off a of Pagani, and uh, that's where you may have noticed this from before. It, it isn't as elaborate as theirs is in real life, but the back is. Now, the back air dam is severe, and so is the headers. We had to have them. And uh, just so I'll stay at the gym, fat fucks are at the back of the bus. So there we go. There's there's my entry for Ken Block's uh, wonderful car. And I don't know if we're going to go with a purple driver. I think he ought to have a different skin, which he will. But um, I hope you liked it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think old Humble's lost it or he's still got a little bit under the old belt. And Squonky, of course, is a little, little rusty, poor little kid, but he's, uh, he's willing to get right after it. So there we are, guys. The Hooney Pegasus, you fucking believe it. Um, let us get a couple of screen aroonies so we have something to sh show for this. We got to get something out of the deal, right? Bungo, we'll make a shot there and... That would be another nice one. I haven't heard anything from Gearmeister in ages. He used to do some fabulous, absolutely top shelf, better than most people's um, screenshots. Just absolutely phenomenal, the guy. He really was in every possible way. You could never take that away from Gearmeister, so I pray everything is all right with him. I know he's working real hard. And I know his wife had a little, uh, yeah, her hands full with a battle with uh, cancer. So if you think of uh, Gearmeister and his wife, please say a prayer for them. Because believe me, prayers make all the difference you could possibly imagine. The difference between, well, it's a different type of reality. Instead of the reality you're afraid of, it's the reality that you're praying for. Now, uh, take a look what else this car does while we're here. If you go over to, well, the seat belt actually works, Pink. There's a seat belt, left door, right door. And look at the hood opens up and all. And if we get this out of the way momentarily, and we hit the wipers, you'll see the wipers work like a champ. See, Dan Busca, I'll tell you, there's a few of these guys out there that are absolutely fucking phenomenal with their 3D editing skills. They're just way over the top, way over the top. How they haven't been snapped up by uh, the big companies is probably only because they don't want to be snapped up. Because they surely could be and would be otherwise. Um, and that's the name of that tune. But this this is a Dan Busca car, and it is a fucking beauty. It does have a detailed engine underneath here, but I, for some reason, the little tail ain't opening like it used to. I must have changed the name of something. And that canceled the operation in its tracks. So, ding, that's what we got, guys. That's what we got. What do you think? Pretty little car, isn't it? And it sounds great, of course. Thanks to a single racer turning me on to the right sound for the car some years ago, actually, you know. But I hope you liked it. Just a little romp. I didn't plan on racing it against anything just at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed this, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. I wanted to say goodbye, too. I worked hard on this car. Hey, Alex, thank you for the wonderful things you say about us. It's a wonderful thing to know you, and we love you, buddy. So, everybody have a good night. I'll talk to you again. Humble and squawky out for now. Bye, guys.